All right, it seems we got everything in order. Welcome back to the Small Bear Studio. My name is Charles Price, and today we're going to be doing something a little bit different. I'm going to be reacting to a few of the older pictures that I have. Now, these aren't exactly old. I've only been doing professional photography for about two years now, but I wanted to kind of show you guys what I started out like and what I could have done better. Uh, I guess this is basically just a critique of myself. So we're going to get into this. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, we got about, you know, 10 pictures here around that. I mean, I, 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 a friend helped me pick these out. So it's, uh, man, I, I'm looking at some of these on the computer screen and it's just, uh. <laughs> All right, so what's the first one that we're going to start off with? Oh, Okay. Trapper. This was taken in 2015. This was taken at a place called Penn's Cavern. Uh, it's a place where you take a boat ride and you go through the caves and you get to see all the lights and stuff and all the wildlife and how it's been maintained over the years. So this is in the gift shop. <laughs> um, this wasn't with my. Uh, this wasn't with my newer cameras. I uh, I didn't get my G7 until 2018. So this is, I forget which camera this was taken on. I think I have a old camera down in the basement. I'm gonna go get it, just one minute. All right, hindsight's 2020. I should have brought this up before I started this. <sighs> I'm out of breath. Running up the stairs really did me in. I gotta fix that. So this is a Sony CyberShot. Uh, this doesn't work anymore, at least I don't think it does. No, does not. It's busted. I guess it's a DSC W560. This is a good starter camera, not like a G7 starter, but like a, a, a actual starter camera. And I had a, I had a lot of good times with this camera. It has a huge screen on the back. This is probably the biggest screen on a small starter camera that I've ever seen. And to be honest, I think I actually might rebuy this. Uh, I wish this one wasn't broken. Uh, it's just here for the memories. So, anyways, this trapper picture was taken in the gift store, and I back in 2015 I wasn't really, you know, thinking about the um, dynamics of how to take a picture. So this was just, whew, I could have done a lot better. I could have done a lot better. I might go back, and I actually might do a lot better. So on to the next picture. Whew, boy. I got, a, I got some pictures here from a lot of my previous uh, Florida trips. I go to Florida pretty often. I go to Universal Studios and I go to Disney with uh, some of my younger cousins. And the next picture that we have here is uh, the <laughs> Rainforest Cafe, a wild place to shop and eat. I love the Rainforest Cafe. And also, I think this was Disney Springs. This was from my either 2014 trip or this was from my 2016 trip. I, I go here every time, so it's it's hard to figure out which one it is. I think I did okay with this picture. Uh, this wasn't taken on that Sony Cybershot. This was taken on another Sony I had. I had a lot of Sony cameras before I switched over to Panasonic. I remember what camera this was. I had a big black Sony camera, or not big, big, but like, it was like, uh, it's not, not, it was thicker, it was thicker. But I think I, I think I did okay with this. The angle is really weird. Um, I could have strained it out a little, maybe moved more, angled myself more towards the right. Uh, the colors are good. The color on my last Sony camera was actually really good. I really liked the colors. It wasn't too good for video, but it was really good for pictures. I was just down in Florida back in November. I have the video up on the channel, but it's just... Uh, there's something about, something about Florida, something about Florida. Uh, uh, this was from my 2016 trip. Sorry, I just paused because now I'm actually wondering if this was my 2011 trip. This, because of just how blown out the picture is, I... Back in 2011, you, you obviously I had no idea what I was doing. Oh, it's just the highlights, the highlights and the whites are so blown out. It's just, oh, Jurassic Outfitters. 
Oh. No, this wasn't 2011 because those, if you can see at the bottom there, it's Jurassic World. So that had to be my 2016 trip. This is a really, really blown out, overexposed picture. I think one of the things that I really try to do when I do photography is I try not to blow out the picture. I actually try to underexpose it rather than blow it out. Because if something is just bleach white, you're not going to be able to get the detail back. If you underexpose it, the detail is still there. So I try to do that when I take pictures. Oh boy. I should have known what I was doing. Wow. Anyways. Alright, so next up. Um, we'll talk about this picture. Okay. So this is of my friend. And this was the first picture taken with my G7 that I said to myself, okay, I think I can do something with this. This picture really inspired me to start learning about camera techniques and how to um, follow leading lines and that's why I have this backboard here, this big wooden backboard. Uh, that's why I have the lines angled in well, not really angled, I mean they're horizontal, because they're leading into my head. So, uh, it, it's everywhere. Leading lines and, you know, man-made leading lines or natural leading lines. This picture right here inspired me to just continue with photography, because I remember this was taken February of 2018, and I got my G7 in uh, December of 2017. I think this is a good picture. I don't see too much wrong with it. I could have maybe cut off a little bit of the left side to make it a little bit more equal, maybe shimmied myself to get it a little bit more. Uh, the thing that I'm kind of bummed about is that there's something sticking out of his head. If you can see that little, uh, that's a, I guess that's a, a map of the city. Th this is in my hometown here. Uh, it's a bridge and I, could have edited that out maybe in Photoshop I don't know but overall uh, good picture 7 out of 10 maybe 6 I don't know uh, I lowball myself anyways next picture oh boy okay this was 2017 this was 2017 and I was on a HDR high and oh jeez there are some other pictures in here from my previous Florida excursions that I also did the HDR thing in and I don't think I don't think the basic I don't actually have the original picture anymore but this picture is not like too bad I guess when you look at it <laughs> maybe I'm just trying to reassure myself I think I think the basic picture is good but because I did the HDR thing and here I'll bring up the other pictures I'll bring up the other pictures so here's one and I do have the original pictures for these here's one I did in Florida this was my 2011 trip and I took it with this the Sony Cybershot it's a uh, everything is just wrong about this picture the uh, much like the Penn's Cavern one it's a uh, it's set up correctly, but it's too saturated, it's too overexposed, and um, the shine on the black car, though, that's really neat. I like that. It's too bad that I didn't just not touch this picture up. The, uh, here's the, hold on, here's the original picture. I'm gonna get this up. There's the original picture. I think that that's an okay picture at the same time. I feel like maybe I could have done it a little bit better. I might try to edit this again. I might try to, might try to spice it up a little. Spice it up. S and P's thing for me. We have another one here of Universal. Here's the, here's the HDR. Oh, those clouds. The clouds, you know, the clouds look nice. It's just they're too, whatever HDR does, it's too much you know it's too much it's too much the original picture is also pretty pretty good here 
Yeah, you see, I, uh, I, a little bit too much of the bridge on the right side there that shouldn't be there. But I think overall, it's a good straight on picture. You time the universal globe correctly. Uh, I don't like that light lamp that's cutting off the universal arch. You could maybe edit that out in Photoshop, I'm not sure. Um, man, there's one more HDR picture here. That, those, were for my, those were from my 2011 trip. There's one more HDR picture here. This is of a church that's kind of in the countryside near my city. Uh, I kind of live in a really weird suburban slash rural city. It's weird. It's central Pennsylvania. Uh, this is a church, and I actually don't think I overdid the HDR too much. The sky's completely blown out. I can't, like, I can't justify that at all. No. Nope. No. Nope. I think the angle's nice, though. It makes the church look bigger. It makes the church look bigger. The windows are nice. I think the color's nice. I think maybe it's a little bit desaturated. This was actually taken with my G7. This was taken with my G7, and that, uh... Was it? No, this was taken in 2017. I didn't have my G7 until 2018. Wow. What am I doing? Okay, well, I think overall, yeah, the structure of it's good. I could have maybe moved it a little bit more to the right, or maybe cut off more of the right. Overall, I think it's all right. Uh, eh, eh. Moving on to another picture. Okay, so this was actually one of my better pictures. This is actually one of my most favorite pictures that I've taken in the last two years. This was taken on my G7. We were up at a uh, uh, one of the lakes around my city. Once again, weird suburban rural type city. And we have a lake. We actually have two lakes. Or I think three. We have three lakes. We have Prince Galitzin, we have Canoe Creek, and we have Raystown. This was taken up at Prince Galitzin. The one thing I like about this picture is like the cotton candy coloring of the picture. It's just nice. It's it's not at golden hour. It's right after golden hour where everything kind of has a blue tint. But you can still see the oranges, orange, blah, 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 the orange reflection on the water and also on her hair. The only thing that I don't like is that if you can see sticking out from her leg there is kind of the... Uh, it's not a life raft, it's one of those um, life preservers. That's what they are. It's the circle life preserver that they have in case somebody is not a good swimmer. I'm not a good swimmer. I should probably fix that, but I think maybe I could have centered the picture a little bit more if you can't tell over on the dock below, like near her, uh, near the right side. That doesn't exactly line up with the left. I probably could fix that in Photoshop, but overall, I think it's a good picture. I don't know, what do you guys think? Do you guys think this is a good picture? I think it's a good picture. But yet, yeah, we move on. Alright, we're coming down to the last few pictures here. Now, I am going to go to probably... Uh, I'm trying to decide between two. One's, uh, one's a good one. Okay, I'm gonna do this one. Okay. Not my best picture. This was in my 2018 trip to Disney, and this was Hollywood Studios, uh, right outside of Star Tours. Uh, we watched the Jedi Temple um, kid show, where they, you can see the children in the back. And anyways, that's not the point. The point is Darth Vader's in the front. <laughs> Sorry, children. That's you aren't what's important here. Darth Vader's important. <laughs> that's terrible. So we have Darth Vader in the center, and I think I centered it really good. The colors are... I think the colors are okay. It, I did that whole... There was a point where I did that whole orange and teal thing. I think... Because I didn't have Lightroom back then, I didn't have the dehaze filter. Or the dehaze, you know... Um, the dehaze setting, let's just call it that. It dehazes the image. It makes the smoke 
not clear, but it kind of cleans the picture up, kind of cleans the smoke up. Oh boy, um, I thought when I picked this picture, I thought I was going to have some good things to say about it, but I'm actually really conflicted. It's amazing how far I've come in just two years. Uh, we move on. So, come down to the last two. Okay, this is one of my fa all-time favorite pictures that I've ever taken. This is of uh, my friend's brother, and this... Uh, behind his house is a giant hill. Anyways, we're up on this hill. It starts to get golden hour. Golden hour goes by. We get some pictures. And then um, I get this picture of my friend's brother. I think it's good. The silhouette, I edited this in Lightroom so you can tell. It's it's good. It's not like <laughs> I used the dehaze filter correctly. It's not a filter. It's a setting. What are you talking about? So I, I just, uh, overall, I think this is a very good 10 out of 10 picture it just it conveys emotion <laughs> what I really like about it is how the silhouette is really defined this was taken with my uh, GH or not my GH7 my G7 this was taken with my G7 which I've said before in some of the other videos I've done I really, really think that my G7 is a lot better of a picture taker than my GH5, but I think the GH5 is a lot better of a video camera than the G7. So, overall, one of my favorite pictures ever, ever. And for my last picture, what we're gonna do, we're gonna go to the first picture I ever took with my really big, thick silver camera back in like 2007. And you can see the date on the picture here. I took this down in St. Augustine, Florida back in uh, 2007. Uh, they have peacocks running around the, uh, the, uh, the Fountain of Youth uh, Historical Park, Fountain of Youth Historical Park in St. Augustine, Florida. They have all these peacocks running around. Uh, there was a really good picture I took in 2018 when I went to the same place and there was a nice white peacock. I took a really nice picture of that. You know, for one of my first picture pictures, this isn't too bad. This isn't bad. I was like, how old was I? How old was I in 2007? Okay, I'm gonna, okay, hold on. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna calculate this. I was 12. I was 12 in 2007. Wow. I, I'm, I, I'm going on 25 this year. I was 12 when I took this picture. That's amazing. Wow, it, because this isn't a bad picture. You got the one key, uh, you got the one peacock in the background that has its tail spread out. You have the one in the foreground, which kind of gives the illusion that the one in the background is not there. Um, I actually think that is a white, or it's either a whitish brown peacock in the background. Anyways, and then you have the peacock on the left, and then you... wow, I was twelve. I was made for this. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you all enjoyed this episode. This was this was fun for me. This was a fun 20 some minutes or however long I managed to record this. And uh yeah, and I cannot stress this enough. Let's see if I don't put my hat on backwards this time. Ha. Huh. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and if you are not notified of my videos, click the little little bell button, the notification button. Just get out of here. Go take pictures or something. <laughs>